This is CBS 2 News at 11. And they run from great to goofy. We're talking about all the gadgets at the world's largest houseware show at McCormick Place. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli is scoping it all out. He has some interesting discoveries. We're going to start off with a debut here on CBS 2. This is the Dyson DC 39. We know that the Dyson uses a ball for a vacuum cleaner, but this is a canister ball that makes it a lot easier to uh, do your cleaning around the house. As I said, a debut here right here on CBS 2. This might look like your mother's hair dryer from the 1960s, but it's actually the Wovo by Gallons, and it's designed to be a microwave with that kind of uh, high-tech look that you can have in your kitchen. This is something nice and simple and practical. This is the Gobi. You can put your water inside and you can see that there's a filter inside it so you can drink filtered water. And if I pull the top up like this, I can show you exactly how it works. You can pour the water in there and you might say, Vince, in the bottom of that glass there are some stones. Well, these are called sipping stones. What you do is you put them in the refrigerator and then they get cool and they can cool up your drink. Sometimes people get upset if ice melts and then it kind of disturbs if you have some whiskey in there or some wine, it disturbs the taste. I, I like this here. It looks like a Frisbee, but it's not really a Frisbee. It's called the Squish and it's actually a, a colander that you can fold it because it folds up it makes it easier for you to store it but then when it's time to strain your pasta you can strain it right there and finally by a local designer we've got the robo broom and the robo rake I know I look like uh, one of those science fiction films there but this actually relieves the pain on your back if you have to rake or you have to sweep you do it without putting much pressure on your back. These are some of the thousands of items that are on display at the International Home and Houseware Show that kicks off tomorrow here at McCormick Place. Yeah, but we're sorry. The show is not open to the public, but you could see some of those items on store shelves very soon, right? It's nice to get a preview. It sure is. Now it's time to check the markets.